Hello and welcome to Ravensburg. This is the first episode in a series of Let's Plays on this map. I'm here on field 7 doing a ploughing contract with the Fent 515C and the John Deere 2410 plough. It is meant to be a 200 horse minimum plough but the fence only 190 or 195 and it seems to pull it no problem even up some of the hills at 9 miles an hour very handy tool and it's also 12 meters wide which is very good for a plough you usually take you know 400 horsepower and you're only covering you know 7 8 meters or something at a time so I am not too sure what I have in store today. There's only, I've done maybe two plowing jobs, two fields so far this morning. Um, I had a little bit of issue with my screen recorder and it for some reason made the recording fuzzy in bits. I don't know if it's going to do with this recording, but I need to start somewhere, so this will be the first part in the video. There is a transporting job I'm going to do after this from the supermarket to the garden centre. So I'll park this plough up at the farm and go down and get the front loader with the big bag handler from CSN. It's a lot easier than the pallet forks. They can be a bit of a pain sometimes, I find, but... This... the game isn't new to me. I've got 560 hours, maybe just over. 570, I think. In total, since I've... I got Farm Sim 19. But I've only got... Oh, maybe 10 to 12 hours playing with the new steering wheel and pedals and the the um, Logitech side panel, the heavy equipment side panel. So I'm still getting used to that and the controls and what to press, when to press them and what button does what even though I configured it to what I wanted. Still takes a bit of getting used to. But stay tuned if you want to see how far we get with this farm. Um, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to do on this map, but um, I would imagine maybe 20, 20 episodes and then maybe move to another map, do a bit with that and maybe come back to this and visit this at a later date and continue on, maybe go a different direction. Um, as far as this year is concerned, in game, I think I'm going to leave animals until next year. Just because I've only got one field and I don't want to be going and spending a fortune on buying bales from the shop at 650 odd pounds each. Which is quite, it's, it's quite ridiculous really. Um, I've heard people say that bales in real life, you know, they're 30, 40 pounds a bale. And to jump from 30, 40 pounds to 650 is quite wild. So I think I'm going to leave animals for this year. I'm going to come back to them when the prices maybe drop for them. It will be cattle. I think I'll start with them. I'm not sure if I'm going to do dairy or beef yet. There's, there's good and bad for both. So I think it's just going to be an experiment of maybe start with beef, see where we can get to with it, and then maybe the year after, would be the start of year three, I'd be looking to get maybe dairy, or if we're in a position, we could have dairy and beef cattle, and we could have both farms with the uh, cow pastures in them. So we'll see where that goes, kind of the start of next year, this time next year. Um. I don't have a lot of equipment to start off with. I bought a farm at the top of the map. And I also bought field 9, which is just across. Uh, 
two fields over. Yeah, two fields over to the left. Because it's ten, this is seven, then it goes ten, nine, and I think it's twelve. I'll double check that, I may be wrong. Nine, ten, and twelve is over, yep. That's right enough. Right. I'm going to get finished with this field. And I will see you when I've got the front loader on. And I'm heading to the next contract. And hopefully there's some more stuff pops up today. I don't think there'll be any fertilising jobs. But I do need to get hold of one of them. That's the wrong button. There we go. That will take me a bit to get used to that controller, the, the side panel. But, I will see you at the shop when I picked up my new front loader and bag handler. So you join me back here at the shop. This is where I am supposed to be picking pallets up from. Alright, right in the corner. Hmm. What if I... And there's pedestrians walking about on this map too, which is quite cool. Right, so I'm going to try and go down this way. I've only done this a few times with a... Uh, um, the front loader with the joystick, because sometimes... I don't know why... But for some reason, on this tractor, it uh, it likes to open and close windows. I'll show you. Like if I try and move it up, that's the door. And then that's another function that's meant to be the the only one that actually works is that. That works it, and then up and down is doors. So. This might take a little time. Just to kind of get used to. And I don't know, the other tractors that have tried it with seem to be fine. Um, I'm just trying to think of how to do this again. That, no, it's that, yeah. And then lift with a mouse. Yeah. Should have been able to do everything with a joystick, but it doesn't work like that. You can tell I'm still getting used to the steering wheel and the controls and everything. Oh, that was a little close, wasn't it? So yeah, there's no other jobs popped up as yet. So... I'm assuming there's nothing to do today, really. Um, just gonna have to. I don't know. Maybe if there's nothing else to do, we could maybe go and get my field plowed. And um, if there is any other jobs come through, or I have enough to get the. Uh, fertilizer today. Uh, the Cavernaland, uh, well that's what I'm looking at, the Cavernaland, I think it's a TLX Geo spread. It can go from 25 meters to 45 meters, so that saves a lot of time if you're, you know, trying to get through the contracts in a, a really short space of time. You know, if you're really pushed for it, like it's coming to the end of the season, you can really get through the fields with that. One more set of pallets to go. Um, might be a bit trickier than I thought to do. If I line them up the other way, that would maybe work. The fiddling about here, but. Try and not touch the actual pallets. 
Right. Just hope it picks up the one and not both of them. That's good. Could we get the two together? Would it work that way? Well, not the best of ways to pick them up, but... Is that going to work? Well, something's... Never seen a ratchet strap like that before, but... Eh, we'll go with it. I hope it's easier strapping the actual load down than it is to put it on the trailer. A bit of a nightmare that. That's got a bit too wide, isn't it? Uh, we might get away with it. Ah. Put it down too low. Right, I'll try that there. Sticking out a little bit, but it should be all right. I'm pretty sure these are going up to the That might just work. Okay, and over here is going to be the next one, but... Ah, uh, yeah, so I think these are going up to the harbour area. In the middle of the map, which is just right the corner. It's surprising that it's £3,000 for this, but... I didn't think it would pay that much. Somebody walk in here. Oh, this is where the pallet's gonna. Yeah, no, we're all right. Right. Let's get these up to the harbour area. You see the red dot on the map. That's where I'm heading. If I'm right, that's the harbour area. Where have they stopped? Well, I'll continue on. So I haven't checked the jobs yet, I just know that this one came up. So I did this one and then the once this one's done that's the jobs finished as as far as I know just now. Um the only ones I can think of that would come through are ploughing. Possibly plowing. I don't think I'm that wide. Surely not. So it should be in here somewhere. Come out of the cab to have a red dot to the bottom. We get down this way then. Turn the beacon off just now. Is that crane only? Yeah, we can get down there, surely. 
We'll find out in a minute. Ah, the red dot must be here. Ah, there's the chevron markings there. That's fine. So if I put my trailer here, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to offload it. I better take the straps off actually. That would be a good idea. dropped off. Oh. This isn't looking very promising, is it? Very first episode. Right, we may get that pallet off this way. I think. I don't know where that down a good bit. Anyway. Push them up together. No, they're not going to push. Right, try that. Is that going to work? Oh. We'll just have to take it easy. That must be back a bit. Put it more over there, could we? Yeah. It gives us a little more room to play with. ship runs through here all the time and toots its horn. If you get close enough to it, you'll hear it. It just adds a bit more to the gameplay, doesn't it? That didn't work. What happened there? there go. Oh. First pallet nearly come off with these. Drop that in there. That'll be fine. And we need to try and push that first one on just a little bit. It's sitting at a funny kind of angle for picking up. Just a no, it's going to end up pushing them both off. Just take it like that then. See if we get them picked up. Well, it's a lot easier than using the pallet forks anyway. Because the pallet forks, as you have to be absolutely bang on for them to work, you know, to go into the pallet. But, it's that finished, so let's go back on here. Completed. No contracts. So, we can go up to field 10, I own that. It should need ploughed. Yes. Does it need lime? No. That's handy. And it is fertilised, but it needs ploughed. There is some weeds. I have weeds enabled on this uh, on this game. I'm not really sure if it's best idea. I've never dealt with the weeds before. I just know that they need a sprayer and herbicide. I don't know if it's a dedicated sprayer or if you can use that. You know, like if there's one dedicated for um, herbicide or if you can use a liquid fertilizer sprayer. I don't know. But it's just the fun of the game. And you have to find all that out. This is uh, start from scratch mode and we are on normal economy. And from what I've seen, uh, running at five times speed is meant to simulate something close to real life. So, I mean that's handy. 
right, I need to do... Uh, I need to pick up that weight. Because I need to use it with my cult... Uh, not my cultivator. Cultivators are there. It's for the plow. drop my weight off. Oh, I need to swap tools, which is there. Lift that up. That should connect it. There we go. I don't know if this is ideal. Oh, you watch where I'm going. Still not on the right camera view though. There we go. Right, we're back on the road. So, we'll head up to the farm. And I will get the plow. And we'll go and do my field number nine. And hopefully that should maybe take an hour or so off the day, maybe an hour and a half. By the time I get up to the farm, put the stuff into the sheds and then get the the plough over at the field. Should maybe be about half past four or five o'clock. Um, if there isn't any other contracts through today, then I will see you tomorrow as there's nothing else to do today. So, I will see you at the farm. I just remembered of something here. In the winter time, when it comes down, because I've got seasons on, when the snow comes down, that road there, right the way up, round the bend on the left hand side, and the junction, just three quarters of the way up on the right, that is all full of snow. There is no tar showing on that road. And there's a contract, because you get snow contracts on this map, which I found out, which is actually quite fun. Um, I don't know if it's a glitch on the map or not, but there's a contract on there to do with a fire station. And it says to clear the area marked. And a little white marker came up on the map, but it was just around the corner from the shop. Which was a bit weird, but... Anyway... I searched the whole time for the fire station, found it, started clearing their... Uh, I started clearing their yard, and it wasn't showing up, I was checking the contract, it wasn't showing anything up on the contract. I was trying to figure out what was going on. Um, and it turns out that it's actually to clear that road there I've just showed you. So if you're on Ravensburg, with Seasons, and you get a snow clearing contract for the fire station. That's where it is. It's up just beside that farm here. That's where that contract is. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out and figure out why it was showing us there. Right, I need to do a bit of funny business here to get this off. That's the weight. So I need to lower the weight and take it off and then select that and then I need to put it away I'm going to put it in here just now it's not like it's going to snow or anything at the moment but it just keeps out of the road a little bit doesn't it we'll just leave the back handle on it as well Right. And um, what was I saying? Yes, the snow contract. So I haven't quite figured out all of them yet. But the fire station one is that road's up on the the left there I showed you earlier. And there's another one to clear an industrial plot. I haven't really driven about for that one, but it's twenty six thousand pounds it pays. So, I'm just wondering 
where about it is because there isn't really a lot of massive plots of land of in industrial or not any that's marked anyway the only thing I can think of is possibly the biogas plant but I don't know it would need to be quite a large area I did think the harbour for a start I did check in there where we just uh, dropped off that uh, pallets from the transport contract I checked there but I couldn't see anything there was no poles anything when I went in in the winter time uh, when I when I seen the, the contract pop up I went in and checked there because that's you know the first place it kind of came to mind but there wasn't anything there which was a little bit confusing but check the contract again is anything came up no still nothing right I am going to get my field plowed ready and I will maybe see if any contracts come up tonight I'll maybe see about getting fertilizer. Unsure yet. Um, I do have big storage tanks. I might be too far away for you to see it now, but yeah, kind of. It's right in front of the cow shed there, in between the cow shed and that barn. I was just putting the front loader in. Yeah, we're out. We're out of range now. Anyway, that has. This, I think it's 100,000 litres um, they're each, each uh, silo and there's a silo for seeds there's a silo for fertiliser um, there is one for lime and there's another one I think for your liquid fertiliser and herbicide so there's a silo for pretty much everything you need on site now I have got a contact who figured out I had bought the farm and he knew the previous owner so he said he would be able to sort me out with seeds he's a seed dealer in the next town over he does all that kind of agri stuff in bulk he does all your, you know, your seeds any herbicides your fertilizers whether it's liquid or solids he can also get good prices for manure if I was to need it and slurry but I said to him that won't be necessary um, Unless I need for some reason to have it. Um, because I'll have the cows, fingers crossed, I'll have cows next year. And they'll produce their own manure and slurry. And I can use that. But you can also get digestate, which is similar, from the biogas plant. If you put silage bales in, you get paid for you know, giving them the, the biogas energy from the silage bales. We also get a byproduct digestate, which you can use as well, or sell. Um, I don't know how much it produces or what ratio it is for, you know, every 4,000 litres you put in, which is one silage bale, you know. It's not going to give you 4,000 litres back out of digestate. I don't know what the ratio is, but I'd be lying if I said I knew. Um, but yeah, this, this kind of wraps it up for today. There's, I'll have a quick check once I finish the field and see if there is any contracts came through. If not, I will have a little wander about the map today. Um, I'll possibly speak to another few of the farmers just to make sure they don't need anything else done before, uh, before the sowing season comes in. And if there's nothing else happening by about maybe 6 o'clock... I will see you tomorrow. So I'll leave this here just now. I'll finish the field up, park up, I'll wash my machinery and the tractor. And we will maybe see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, if there's contracts. So we will see you then. It's day two here on Ravensburg and there was no contracts through last night uh, I went to bed around I think it was about half past nine there was still nothing through so now I look about the map until then and I uh, washed the tractor down so it's now ready to go
Another little thing I should mention is that little light unit on the front there. Right on front of the weight. I don't know if you can see the name there. I think it's VSR. It's a 360. It's only 600 pounds. And what a difference it makes for lighting up. If I just disconnect it. That's without it. And that's with it. So it makes a really big difference. Now I'm going to disconnect that. There has been a few fertilizing contracts came in. So I am away to head down to the shop. I'm going to buy myself a new fertilizer. One of the Cavernaland TLX Geo spreads goes from 25 to 45 meters in spread width. It only does fertilizer, obviously it's solid pellets. It doesn't do lime, but I haven't seen any contracts for lime yet. There's someone coming. Uh, so I didn't see the need for buying you know, a tool behind fertilizer that does lime as well because my field doesn't need lime and it probably won't until next year or if I was to change the crops to something that required liming you know after it's planted but I haven't actually figured out what is in the field yet I have only ploughed it so today I'm gonna to go down to the shops now get my fertilizer spreader do the two fields that require fertilizing. If I do an in cab view will be better. Here we go. Um, and I'll fertilize that field, complete that contract. So there's one transporting contract that popped up as well. So I think once I've got the fertilizing done, I'll put it in the shed, go and get the trailer, do the fertilizing, uh, the fertilizing contract. Just done there. Or we're going to do them. I will get the trailer and go and do the transport contract. That's better. Sounds like I'm having issues speaking, let alone work in this new panel. As you can see, we have the cultivator there. I haven't had time to take it up yet to the farm, but we have. There's a 10 meter there at the back of the tractor. And there's a little three meter there. I cannot remember the name of them. I think it's Sopima. I'll check. Uh, we'll need to go to this menu. We will check rear cultivators. And yeah, Sopima. It's a 10 meter foldable and a three meter van. 23,000 and 6,300. That one needs 200 horse and that one needs 140. Now I've tried this before. The Fent. As far as I know, is 190, 195 horsepower. It pulls that perfectly, and that perfectly as well. No problems. So now, fertilizer. 24 meters, 12, 12. I think you can extend it to 18 on both of them. I can't remember. This one does from 24 meters to 48 meters. 12 miles an hour, I think it is the same for all of them, but that two do line. K105 and the K165 bread elves, they do lime as well. But I don't need lime yet, and I haven't seen any contracts for liming fields. So I'm gonna go with this geo spread. There's no uh, there's no modifications you can do, it's just as it is. You just select your widths um as you need them, as you require them in the field, you just select the, the different woods that you work in, woods that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that right now. And we can go and pick that up. Where's the dog this morning? He's usually jumping about. I think he's maybe sleeping just now, is he? Better not wake him up this early in the morning. 
bark at us when we come back in later on to get something. So yes, I'll head up. I have a big store, oh, well, the, the on-site silos up at the farm, as I was saying earlier on. And we will be using them for putting, we can store in all of our fertilizers, our liquid fertilizers, seeds, and lime. Not that we need lime so much just now. But I'm going to go and fill this up. And that's really awkward. So good job I have that view there. There we go. It's just a blind spot, that pillar right there. You can move forward. I think it's realistic cab. Something like that. It's the mod. It's in the mod hub. I just find it better. When you're working a tool from inside the cab, I find it's just a little bit better. To judge your distances if you think you're just out like if you're sewing something you can you can see better if you're looking kind of over your shoulder it's a bit better to work with in the tractor but I'm gonna head up to the field just now with this fertilizer and I will see you at the first field so we'll see you there So we are here, field 7, get set up, I think that's maybe too close, it's a 45 meter spread on this, so maybe a little further, maybe there, I'll try that, well that's quite a big spread isn't it? Oh, that's a bit bigger than I thought. Maybe out here. There we go. There's some wheel uh, weeds. Some wheels. There is weeds growing in the field. A couple of patches here. Can't see anything else over the other side. Still no sign of any weeding contracts or spraying contracts as such to lay down any herbicide so not sure I've never actually seen that on seasons yet I think it's the farmers must do it themselves the owners of the fields they must do it themselves and then obviously we'll do fertilizing plowing cultivating sowing and harvesting the limon I don't know about lime contracts either, you know that? I don't think I've seen any of them come up. Uh, but it's, uh, well, we're just starting from scratch really, so I haven't really messed about with seasons, you know, too much in depth. I've played about with it a little bit to see what it's like with animals, obviously, and my other. I've got a Wild West map I used to try everything out on. I um, I like that map but I hate it at the same time. It's, it is a really nice map to do. The only problem I find with it, even though I've got the Borgo pack and I can get the massive, I think it's 30.5 meter cedar, it still takes a while to actually do the fields. So I think it was kind of off the top of my head but it's something like four hours real time hour time to actually harvest the big fields I think it's 17 right at the very bottom of the map. I can't remember and that was with I think it was five vent ideal combines the 90s with the biggest header you could get for in game I can't remember what the, what the header was 
Um, let me just check. We finished that contract, so we will collect that. And the next one, yeah, field eight. So it's just fertilizer, uh, solid liquid slurry, or manure. Nothing about weeding. Transports from supermarket to guest house. So fertilizing field eight. Oh, behind me. It's this one across the road here. That's handy. Not a bad size field. Right, I'm going to have to try and think about this. If I start it from here... I'm just trying to think of the best way to do it because if I'm, for obviously the seasons, you, you do three fertilizer stages, unlike without seasons it's just two fertilizer stages, you've done it once and twice, I think it's like, th it's, is it 66, no that's this one, is 66% fertilized, and then 100, and it's 33% as well. I think without seasons it's just two, it's either fertilised, it's 50% or it's 100. Um, but seasons is three stages of fertiliser. So when the crops are growing, you're, I, I want to turn crop destruction on. But I can't get narrow tyres for this 515 fent. So... Oh, that's not bad, that. Two passes in this field and it is fertilised. Um, oh, it's just ever so slightly off. 45 and a half metres what you need for this field. It's just off either side. It should still complete the contract because it does allow for very slight, you know, if you miss bits or, you know, things like that. It does allow for that, but what I want to do is there. Now, if I change the width, it will save me fertilizer because, unlike seeding, where it only puts down the seeds on bits that's not been sown. Now, the controls for this should be. I'm trying to do it without looking at the screen there. Yeah, there we go, there's 25 metres. So we could be able to do this section here. That's the same field finished. And if you need to up it, you just up as you go. But that's me done the contract, so we'll save the fertiliser. It's getting used to the tools and implements and trying to keep it all the same. I've not been doing that. Like, if you've got crop destruction on, you've got the narrow tyres on, you will destroy the crops where the tires have been, obviously, but you want to keep, especially when you get to the fertilizing stages or if you're weeding, your machinery all kind of needs to be the same size or width. Um, so that when you go into a field to fertilize it, lay down herbicide, or you've got your uh, weed, well it doesn't much a weeder because it's uh, only on the first stage of growth I think but when you're going in and out with your fertilising, because you've got three stages to put down and you've probably got maybe two stages of herbicide I'm not quite sure how it works yet but I will find out because I want to buy a sprayer and do my field with it but I want to see if I can get a few more contracts because I've not got anything in the field as yet um, I don't have a seeder, there's been no sowing contract, so I've not needed to, uh, I didn't see the point in hiring a seeder to do one little field, which is that one there. It's not, it would be a waste of money. I, it's, it's not like I would make it back once I sell, the, that's something I was going to do actually. I'm going to quickly check this. I haven't figured out what has been in this field before. Nightshade and Fallow. So, if we go into, remember the keys for this, so 
previous so the first one would be nightshade and then it was empty so if we do nightshade oh and then follow right so what we pick now changes the what was in it for a start to 1.2 instead of 1.08 so that would give you a better yield on your first crop we put it to wheat no all you're doing is really scrolling through till you find the sweet spot which is looking like canola so I need that first one to be at 1.08 to your base so if you can get it up from there you're doing good 1.08 is our target Canola was one. Oats is one as well, but oats is 0.96, whereas canola is 0.14. So if we were to seed it with canola, we would get 1.14 times the. Um, I'm trying to think of the word for it here. The yield, that's the one. Yield. 1.14 times the yield. So your potatoes we get a standard yield. Leave it empty, then come back in and do your canola. It's 1.14 times. Now, you get 1.2 times on wheat, but then it reduces the potatoes when you come around to it again next year. So we could do it's 0.95. See, you can't seed canola and canola after each other because it will deteriorate. If I was to do canola here, it would go down again, you see, and same again if I did it here. It's going down and down. It's not like without seasons you could do wheat in the same field over and over and over and over and keep going. But here you can't. See, it starts off 1.14 and it goes down to 0 0.9, 0 0.81, 0 0.81. So we would have to do soybeans but then it's, it's potatoes have come down again corns 1.2 but so is wheat 0.95 wheat is 0.95 1.2 so what we could do possibly 1.1495 1.14 we could do grass Soybeans 0 0.95, 0 0.1, grass is 0 0.14, so we could do grass. But then when it comes around to the rotation and we come back in to do the first crop, which is potatoes, we could change that and do a whole new rotation. So because the potatoes have already been harvested out of the field when you start the game and you get it when it's empty on the fallow stage, because it always gives you the previous two. And we've not put anything in the ground yet, so we'd be starting from canola. So as long as you've got a good base from canola and go up or keep it above one from there, you will be doing not bad. And then when it comes around to start the season again next, uh, you know, in a couple of years, because that's like a season each, you see. So like where canola wheat would maybe, it's a winter crop, you see, so make it way plant it this year, harvesting it next year. Grass can go in any time and harvest any time, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Um, yeah, so you've got your grass there, uh, third from the bottom. Yeah, it's pretty much plant and harvest all year apart from the last two stages in winter. And the first stage in uh, spring, you can't harvest it then. So grass would be okay. You might get another like wheat. See, you can we can put that in the ground now because we're looking at canola, aren't we? Canola, wheat, and grass so far. So canola would be going in at five degrees. We can plant it now and harvest it uh, from mid. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, the, the late summer, all the way through till late. Well, the very first day of winter really we can harvest that 
or should I say the mid midwinter. We can harvest up to midwinter, but we'd want it harvested, you know, as quick as possible so that we can get the wheat crop in the ground before the temperature starts to drop. And hopefully it germinates and then we can come back around, but then you don't get to harvest the wheat because it needs to grow again. Because obviously it grows a wee bit, stops when it hits winter and stays at that growth stage right through winter until it starts growing again when you come into spring. So we won't be able to harvest the wheat we plant for the winter crop until the end of the last kind of stage late summer next year. So that would be wheats late next year we can harvest. We can go straight in and plant grass whenever we harvest that because that works. We just won't be able to harvest it until some point the year after, so that's the second year. And then canola is the maybe the year after. Well, it's not canola, I've just set that on that to a test, but just have a scroll through. You can see yourself if you scroll through different crop types and what works good. That acre grass is actually for this map. I haven't found it in any other maps as yet. Um, I'm, as far as I'm led to believe, if you cut it with a mower, it acts as grass. And you can bale it and make silage, you know, um, you can leave it out to dry and it will become hay. Um, bale it up and, you know, use it for whatever you want or make t uh, making TMR. But if you use, I think, I want to say combine and a header, it'll say if it's if it works with acre grass, I think. But if you use a combine on that, you get the grass swath I may be wrong I have not tried it yet but that's something we could maybe look at doing in this game we could maybe look at doing acre grass but as far as I know it's, it gives you a grass swath out of the back of the combine and it actually gives you seeds in the hopper of the combine now I don't know what to do with it I haven't looked into it as I said but we could maybe play about and see maybe next year we could maybe buy one of those little grass areas and you know make a new field with a plow just a, a section just to get an idea and if we've got maybe we won't have a combine by that stage maybe if we do we can try combining it ourselves and see what we can do with it and see what we can do with the actual seed you get from it but that's for another episode um looks like you could do wheat again after grass if you left it fallow, no. So we could do wheat again. It's not quite as good. Yeah, they're all kind of down corn. It's the same as wheat though, isn't it? But then you get your site, but well then we'd have their grass from there. This is what you've got to try and plan out as well on your, on your planner. Because I've got one field and I'm hoping at the start of next year, I would like to have a cattle. I still don't know if I'm going to do beef or dairy, but cattle is the goal. Don't know how many. Um, but you need to think, the cattle need TMR, so you're going to need grass to make your silage bales, you're going to need to dry some grass to make your hay bales, and the other one is straw bales. So in doing this, canola plant and wheat will be able to come into the next middle of next year for wheat and then you can't harvest the grass unless you buy a grass field then I would have all three of the things between the wheat and the grass I've got my grass I can bale of silage dry grass for hay and then the wheat the swath off of the wheat from the combine will give us straw bales so we can make TMR after these two crops or after we've got the wheat we've baled up the straw swath and um, Oh, you just lose your train of thought sometimes. I'm just thinking the corn we're not going to do because I need a different header for the combine. So I think I'm just going to do wheat. Yeah, I think wheat would be the best option. Um, what are we looking at weather-wise? 
oh we have snow on Wednesday and Saturday that's the forecast but as with seasons like today nine times out of ten today will be as what it says it will be it's just cloudy there is no precipitation no snow no rain no nothing and not a lot of sun but from the day after that could change they don't give you times from kind of like the end of the next day so like on the last Wednesday day they've got listed here where it's going to snow at 4 degrees from then onwards they don't give you a time so it just could be oh no it's because it's separate days so that's my yeah no I didn't read that properly it just says uh, un in uncertainty increases with time so as you go on through your day the future forecast from like tomorrow will change I don't know how much I've not played seasons enough to you know play about and do that I better get back to our tractor because it is running that's wasting fuel right now I was a way to do a transport contract right I'll get this off and put it into the shed I'll grab the trailer and the front loader and the bail, the bail grab that's wrong big bag handler and I will see you to pick up the goods so that's us here at the supermarket pick these up and they are going to the guest house down the back of the shop and the fuel station. We get lined up with these first when we grab them out the middle. I think. Just getting used to it. It's annoying. I need this. I need a new tractor. Like as quick as I can because I'm not getting used to this uh, not having the joystick. They're heavy. What is in that crate? I have no idea. Right, a bit fidgeting about here. As long as there's no cars come, we're alright. That's why I've put the trailer on the pavement, just so I am off the road. But I'll tell you what, we'll put this side on first, because there is no cars coming. Uh, there somewhere, I think that's maybe close enough. Okay, a bit more. There we go. Right, that will do then there. Oh. That didn't go to plan, did it? I've moved that one round. In fact, that might be handy actually, because I need it moved round for the next bit. Right, and that. Yeah. Lifting the whole track trap off the ground at the back, isn't it? I don't really know what's in there, but. This will take a bit of. You see, because you've got two big things on there. Right, we'll come out at a different angle. We shouldn't have these as high as that if they're that heavy, but oh, they're not very high, are they? I'll put the other pallet again. Right. As close as we can to this trailer and drop it down. Oh, I was picking a tractor up that. Right, drop it there. Is that it? Yeah. Right, now, because I've hit that one, it's kind of made it kind of where I want it to be. That's a bit too far. There maybe. There we go. Right. Let's get that on the trailer. And we'll strap the load down and take it to the guest house. I can't remember where any of the strap lines are on the trailer, so 
this is just going to be a guessing game. Unless it automatically places them for you once your pallets are on, I don't know. Right. Let's get this hooked up. That pallet's really off, isn't it? Right. See about getting them hooked up. Oh, maybe it does place them, doesn't it? Oh, uh, there's... there. There's another strap on that one, no. Maybe it does place it. Right. We'll get through the village here. That's the wrong control. Where's my select? There we go. Nope, still the wrong one. Hey, it's that one we need. Should have maybe flashed him through, but right, let's get going. Be easier in cab, isn't it? Right, we're going to go down to the guest house, drop these off, see if there's any more contracts because there was only the two fertilising, and this transport one came through today. So, if that's it. And I bought fertilizer for 25 and a bit thousand pounds and there's no more contracts come through I have a bit of an issue because I haven't even made a half of it back a quarter maybe no we'd have made a quarter it's 12 no maybe we wouldn't have how much is the fertilizing contracts were they 3,000 or were they 6,000 I can't remember now. Anyway, I haven't made a lot back on actually from buying the fertilizer. And of course you've got to buy the crops as well and Well not the crops, you know buy the crops, you buy the seeds to make the crops, don't you? That would be good if that's how it worked. Buy the crop, sell it straight off. No planting in fields, no liming, no ploughing, no fertilizer, no weeds, no snow. Just buy it and go. Now, I think it's in here. It must be. The red dot, that's where we're going. The yellow dot's for picking up, and the red dot is for your dropping off. Sometimes, I think I've said this already, that's a stop sign. I've said this before, I think some of the, um, the snow clearing contracts. That's really awkward, isn't it? We're good. Yeah. Some of the snow clearing contracts don't actually pinpoint on the map where you need to be. So hopefully, we are going in here. Hopefully when winter comes around on this map, I can show you what I mean. Right. If we, because our spot we need to be is just there. So, the best way to do it. I could park it at a kind of angle there, couldn't I? Just out of the box. Let's try that. Because um, it obviously doesn't let you just straight off the box like that and tap them. Otherwise, that would be way too easy, wouldn't it? You would need a front loader. We put it there and select a trailer. I better go and take the straps off. Ah, I can see an issue now. What's going to happen here? Oh. Oh well. There's somebody else coming. Right. Let's get this done. And get out of the way before somebody else walks through my pallets and trailer. Really didn't check the road there, but... I think I'm just going to have to wait until he's past him, isn't I? Yeah. 
Well, that's a bit of a pain. Well, at least we can line up to get the back one off. Now that's one off. Yeah, straight through the trailer. Well, that's not quite how it's meant to be. And there. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong pedal. This is why I'm starting to get used to all this stuff. I was used to playing it with a keyboard, and I had all my controls on the keyboard, and it was so easy. And then you add in this new heavy equipment side panel, the steering wheel, and the pedals, and then I had to reprogram the, the side panel so that it worked the controls I wanted it to work instead of the ones that was, you know, the settings that come in game anyway. So that was a bit of a pain setting that up and oh no. Well what happened there? Did you see that? I didn't. Right, we'll drop that there. I just hope none of their stuff's damaged. Otherwise I'm not gonna get all my money back. Now would it work just picking it up and leaving it as it is and just dropping it off in the zone? Would that work? Well, there's only one way to fix it up. I'm going to damage it more than I already have. Gently pick it up. And we'll slowly put it in there. Easy over the curb. We don't know if it's damaged yet. I don't even know what it is. I hope it's not. Is it eggs? That's not eggs, is it? That looks like eggs. Oh no. What does that say? Oh, yeah, this is this is Ravensburg. Um Yeah, that's eggs. So I think I may be getting a deduction or three or more that's I didn't know that was eggs that's not good well it's only a 2000 for the contract or something like that so I don't know how much they can deduct off it just looks really bad doesn't it first contract for that customer oh no well it says transport finished well, let's not tip that one as well I wonder how much will it, will it deduct anything no missing crops completed full amount 2144 huh well, take it while we can. Right. Yeah, 2,144, that's what I got. Right, I am going to get this trailer and tractor out of here before they come outside and see what I've done. And hopefully, I'll just tell them it was someone else in the area. Right, going for it. Let's go. I will... Oh no, this is stop signs and that again. Yeah, we're clear. Right. I'm gonna weave my way through the houses to escape. <coughs> right, I've got my money, so there's no other contract. So I'll park this. I was gonna try and load the cultivator on, but it looks like it's gonna be quite high to put on this trailer. So I may be thinking against doing that, but there's no harm in a play around. I don't even think it would lift that stuff, would it? Would the big bag handler work? Let's try it. I can turn my lights off now. I thought it was daylight, isn't it? Just out of curiosity. Well, if it does work, I can leave the trailer there, wouldn't I? That would be ideal. If it doesn't work... What I could always do is fold the ramps out on the trailer. There's a forklift here as well, I forgot about that. 
I'm just wondering what else this picks up. Because it's not going to be too heavy for the tractor. Because it goes on the front of the tractor anyway. That's not going to work, is it? No, I didn't think so. Would it? Nah, I think it maybe is just for bags. Yeah, that's not going to work then. Alright. Well, what I could... No, I've got that. Yeah. Suppose if I kept my pallet forks up out of the way, I could take one up with me just now. I'll take that one. Would it lift it high enough for the... Uh, I don't know. Or would it be better trying to put that on the back? The first one of the trailer, because that's not too wide, is it? Is that wider than the trailer? That's not going to lift it up high enough though, is it? Same with that. It's not going to lift it near high enough. Because there's no connections on the back of that. No. Hmm. I don't know. I maybe just will have to do it in two bits, but I'm down this way again with another contract. I'll be swinging by and once I've done the contract, I'll put whatever I've got on there. Right, if I if we go up to that, swap cameras again, and I think it's that button there. There we go. Lamps. Right, now if I disconnect. Oh. Right, I will try this. If I take off that front cultivator there, or maybe it would have been better with it on. There's more weight. I'll be okay. Right. All this little things and you know that you just it's, it sounds simple and easy and then you come to do it you're like oh how can I make this easier? Oh am I gonna do this and can I get this all up to the farm in one go? This obviously wouldn't work in real life you would have I mean that that ramps alone at the back's not the trailer's moving though. My next thing is, how do I lower that down? How on earth am I strapping that down? What we'll do is we'll try will that do anything to it? Right, let's come off the trailer. Oh. The ramps didn't like that, did they? Let's see if we can actually strap this down. What was that? A drink on See now you would want to no you can't strap that down. Oh that's not very safe, is it? I don't think it's meant for things like that. Yeah, let's just take that off of there just now. Tell you what, I could do so. Just had an idea. The trailer is used for transport contracts, and all the transport contracts are round about here. Apart from that one, it was upside the farm, but you know what I mean. So what I could do, if I just leave, I know it's not ideal, but if I just left this here. Put that in front of it so no one takes it. Like that. Yeah, if I just leave that there. It just means I can come back for it when I need it. And it's all here. Ready to go. And for now, I can just take this up to the farm. Put it in the shed. And that way, if I wake up in the morning and I have a cultivating contract, My tools are already at the farm, ready to go. So that was a very quick morning indeed. It's only just coming up for nine o'clock. So what I'll do is I'll go and sort this out, get this up to the farm, put it in the sheds, maybe give the tractor a wash. 
Not that it's really... Yeah, we can give it a wash. There's no contracts, there's nothing happening. I I don't want to go and get a cedar just now because there's no contracts for them. So I'll leave that idea just now until a seeding contract comes through. This steering wheel is good, but it's just getting used to it. It's the worst bit. Right, I'm going to go and see what I need to do today. Plan it all out, and I will come back with more. So we will see you then.